a lot of misinformation goes viral on social media. So our mission is to separate fact from fiction. And we know you have a lot of questions to answer them. We're bringing in our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Good morning, Dr. Coley. So many of the questions that we're seeing today have to do with cleaning. Uh, for instance, our first viewer wants to know if the coronavirus can travel on floors. Do you have to clean the floors? The viewer asks, and what is the most effective way? Good morning, Natasha. So certainly the coronavirus can both live and travel on floors. In fact, a study from Wuhan, China in a hospital ward showed that 70 to 100 percent of the floors in the hospital ward were positive for viral particles and greater than 50 percent of the healthcare workers shoes were actually positive for viral particles. And it was thought that the shoes were the primary mechanism of spreading the virus around the floor of the hospital ward. So it is important not just to clean your floors regularly, I would say at least once a week, but also to think about leaving your shoes that you're wearing outside, outside your home so that you're not tracking those viral particles into your home. In terms of what's best to use, there are a number of disinfectants that would be effective. You can go to the CDC website and look and see, depending on the type of floor you have, whether it's tile or hardwood floor, um, which one is best to use. It's really important to get into those nooks and crannies, however, when you're cleaning and make sure that there's plenty of contact time. So you don't want to just mop it and right away wipe mm -hmm. it off. Just let it dry on there. The next question is about the virus in the air. The viewer wants to know if spraying Lysol will kill virus living in the air in small spaces. Now, certainly we've seen photos from all over Europe of the streets being sprayed uh, with diluted bleach solutions. But the purpose of this spraying is actually not so much to sanitize the air as it is to sanitize the surfaces. And the reason for that is because when you spray the disinfectant into the air, it quickly falls to the ground and the contact time is very short. And we do know that you need about contact time of about a minute in order to really effectively sanitize things. So those aerosols that are in the air will certainly get reduced if you spray Lysol into the air, but they're unlikely to be eliminated. Okay. And with the uh, stay at home order being lifted for this weekend, finally, a viewer is asking uh, questions about social distancing in salons. Will customers be able to stay safe if stylists wear only masks or are plastic shields better? Yeah, so social distancing in salons is a real challenge because by definition it's impossible the person has to be close to you. And we do know that masks and social distancing are not replacements for each other. We really need both of them to be effective. But since we can't do social distancing in a salon, having a lot of PPE is a good idea. So here's what I would recommend, that the customer themselves actually wear a mask to prevent the dro their droplets from getting out, that the hairstylist actually wear both a mask as well as a face shield because we know masks are very good at preventing droplets from getting out and face shields are very good at preventing droplets from getting in. And then the other recommendation I would have is that normally when we go to the salon, we talk to our hairstylists, make conversation, see how they're doing. Don't do that right now because the more that people talk, the more droplets are emitted. And so it's a good idea to just sort of be quiet while you're getting your hair done. And then finally, when you get home, make sure you wash your face in case the hairstylist has touched your face at all because it's important that you want to make sure that you get rid of any potential viral particles that could be on your face or near your hairline. Yeah, it's certainly going to be a really big adjustment. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for answering some of those questions.